when energy was really inexpensive and no one cared um, about the costs of, of energy, uh, people were using it freely. But as the cost of energy has gone up and the global warming has become a reality, you know, people are concerned about that kind of thing. And as we improve the building envelopes and the, and the, the building science when we build, um, we're reducing the, the need for energy. The buildings um, actually can be designed in such a way as they need less and less energy. From a LEED point of view, we think that if somebody was interested in pursuing LEED uh, certification, we'd either be a LEED Silver or a LEED Gold. Well, I think that what LEED does is to look at a, um, a holistic approach to uh, sustainable design. Most people think about um, energy use um, as the primary driver, but there's also um, land use, water use, all of our resources, using building materials that are green to start with and using them in a sustainable way and recycling um, the materials that you don't use. Let's say you're using a whole 4 by 8 sheet of plywood instead of having to cut lots of materials. That's less waste. You're using less material. So making sure throughout the process those kinds of decisions were considered and that the whole thing was not a waste generator in the factory or, or as much on the site. And I think NRB really helped us um, because their construction process was flexible enough to um, incorporate a lot of the ideas that we were interested in uh, pursuing. I think in the future we'll also start realizing some of the benefits of um, mass producing and the factory work environment. You can have tighter quality control, you can have less waste, you certainly have less site disruption when you're building in a factory, and I think in some ways the work environment for the workers can be a safer, cleaner, and more productive um, place. The um Modular industry in some ways is ahead of what the regular building industry uh, is doing and the USGBC hasn't necessarily caught up yet with this type of project. Zero net energy is um, a way of producing the power needed by a building with no plug into the grid, meaning that the building would be producing through a solar panel, the electricity required for, for the building's use. I called up an architect uh, out in uh, the West Coast named Peter Anderson, who had been a very innovative uh, architect in the world of modular construction and had recently done some work out in the state of Hawaii for a net zero classroom. And I asked him if he'd be willing to help bring East his um, work that he had done in Hawaii. And he was uh, very enthusiastic to work with um, me on trying to bring this net zero energy option to my smart space relocatable classrooms and also to our, our permanent products and services. Well, I was contacted by Scott Dunlop from AI3 Architects who had been working for the last 25 years on perfecting what a classroom should look like. And uh, he had showed me what he would, had designed in this Case 21, which was a, a, a for permanent installations, it wasn't made to be relocatable, but it, it has the, the technical sophistication and the quality that has never been seen before in a classroom. And, and he spent literally, you know, 20 years developing the technology and the understanding of, of acoustics and air quality and daylighting and, uh, and has developed a very sophisticated teaching wall that has the latest technology for, for the 21st century teaching. I think already that the uh, facts are showing that the developers that are building green have higher rents and that their condominiums sell quicker and businesses are choosing to go to uh, office parks and office buildings that are built green because they know the operating costs are a real savings. So I think uh, it, it makes total business sense. <laughs>